there is a very good reason that space has been dubbed the final frontier. As it stretches in infinite directions all around us, so too does the mystery and intrigue as researchers scramble to attempt to understand how the universe came to be and how it continues to operate. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be diving into three recent space discoveries and what they mean for those of us stuck here on Earth. Astronomers have found a fossil galaxy near Andromeda. The search for knowledge beyond our own planet is never-ending, and it seems that there is always more to learn and uncover. Recently, researchers were able to discover a faint, almost hidden galaxy that could potentially reveal some previously hidden secrets regarding the formation of the earliest galaxies in the universe. This discovery was made by an amateur astronomer who noticed an anomaly on the outskirts of the Andromeda galaxy, which prompted more detailed analysis and observation by the International Gemini Observatory with NSF's Noir Lab. The astronomer, Giuseppe Donatello, was examining archival data that had been collected and processed by Noir Lab's Community Science and Data Center when he noticed a strange so-called smudge in some of the images. This was revealed to be a previously unknown ultra-faint dwarf galaxy named Pegasus V, and unique in the fact that it seems to contain very few heavier elements when compared to other galaxies of a similar size. This deficiency indicates that Pegasus V is likely one of the oldest galaxies in the universe, and could be a fossil for some of the very first galaxies that were created, as the lack of heavy metals points to the fact that it stopped forming stars very early on in the lifetime of the universe. Considered a galactic relic, containing remnants of materials used to fuse together the very first galaxies, the study of fossil galaxies such as Pegasus V is a highly important source of knowledge for researchers seeking to understand which materials and processes might have been involved as the universe slowly came into being over the course of billions of years. Michelle Collins, an astronomer with the University of Surrey in the United Kingdom and a lead author of the paper, explained that we have found an extremely faint galaxy whose stars formed very early in the history of the universe. This discovery marks the first time a galaxy this faint has been found around the Andromeda galaxy using an astronomical survey that was not specifically designed for the task. Astronomers have hypothesized that the universe is teeming with these fossil galaxies, but they have proven much harder to locate than anticipated, meaning that initial conclusions might be incorrect. However, it could also be, since fossil galaxies are incredibly faint and notoriously difficult to differentiate, as they appear as nothing more than a few dimly shining stars scattered amongst much brighter and larger clusters. Collins further explained what researchers hope to find within this unique fossil galaxy, stating that we hoped that further galaxy study of Pegasus V's chemical properties will provide clues into the earliest periods of star formation in the universe. This little fossil galaxy from the early universe may help us understand how galaxies form and whether our understanding of dark matter is correct. Understanding how these first galaxies were formed and how they are both similar and different from what is known about more recent galaxy formation can tell researchers a great deal about how the universe has evolved over time, providing a sort of time machine glimpse into the far distant past. Astronomers capture closest exoplanet, Coconuts 2b. It seems that almost every single exoplanet that has been discovered is unique from other planets in some way, providing what seems to be a near limitless source of information about the strange world that stretches infinitely beyond us. And a recently discovered exoplanet called Coconuts 2b has shown us once again that there are always strange planets yet to be discovered with new information to provide. This new planet was technically first located over a decade ago in 2011, but was then misclassified as a free-floating object as it did not appear to be orbiting a star. Zhu Jian Zhang, a graduate student working with researchers at the University of Hawaii Institute for Astronomy, took a closer look and realized that it was actually orbiting a star, therefore meriting a reclassification as an exoplanet. Coconuts 2b immediately became an interesting source of study for two reasons. The first was that, at a mere 35 light-years away from our own planet Earth, this newly labelled exoplanet 
is the closest exoplanet ever discovered. Secondly, it is such a large distance from its own star that very little light is able to reach it, meaning that night and day on the surface of the planet look almost exactly the same. Coconuts 2b is a large gas giant that weighs in at over three times the size of Jupiter. Its orbit is an astonishing 900 billion kilometers away from its sun, which is a nondescript low-mass red dwarf called Coconuts 2a. It's this wide orbit that leaves its night and day virtually indistinguishable, as well as what caused it to be mistakenly identified as a free-floating object initially. The closeness of this unique exoplanet means that researchers will be able to directly image it, something that cannot be said for very many exoplanets as they tend to be hidden behind the glare of their host stars. As it is, Coconuts 2b is the second coldest exoplanet ever imaged at just 320 degrees Fahrenheit, and it can be only captured via low-energy infrared light. With a massive planet on a super-wide separation orbit and with a very cool central star, Coconuts 2 represents a very different planetary system than our own solar system. Zhang said as he explained his incredible discovery, which was made using the cool companions on ultra-wide orbits survey during the completion of his PhD thesis. This allowed the planet to be directly imaged, which made its exoplanet status apparent, whereas previous identifications had been made using the Wide Field Infrared Explorer satellite. Even though over 4,000 exoplanets have so far been confirmed, with thousands more assuredly waiting to be discovered, Coconuts 2b manages to stand out due to its unique features which merit further study. It's not often that such an interesting exoplanet turns up so close to our own planet, creating many more opportunities for continuing study and potential discoveries. It's original findings such as these that allow the field of astronomy to continue pushing ever forward in the search for the next great breakthrough. Chandra shows giant black holes spin slower than its peers. Black holes are some of the most mysterious and enigmatic aspects of space, and it seems that the more that we understand about them, the more we realize how little we truly know. Recently, observations made with NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory added yet another confusing piece to the ever-growing puzzle. Quasars are massive and extremely remote celestial objects that emit large amounts of energy and appear similarly to stars when viewed through a telescope. Most quasars appear to be powered by black holes housed at their center, and H1821643 is a quasar with an exceptionally large supermassive black hole lurking in its midst. This black hole is estimated to contain anywhere between 3 and 30 billion solar masses, which makes it one of the most massive black holes so far documented, especially when compared to the black hole at the center of our own Milky Way which measures up at a comparatively paltry 4 million solar masses. One of the fundamental properties of black holes in general is their spin, and when NASA's Chandra determined the spin of the black hole within its quasar, it became the most massive black hole to have accurate measurements of this fundamental property. These measurements are taken by looking at recordings over time, a week in the case of this specific discovery, and analyzing the X-ray data. Because black holes absorb all wavelengths and are therefore essentially invisible, they must be observed by recording the movements of the matter surrounding it. As black holes spin, they drag space and matter around it, and those that spin faster allow the matter to get closer to the center than those that do not spin at all. Therefore, researchers looking at this specific supermassive black hole looked at the X-ray data to determine how fast it was spinning and what they discovered surprised them. It seemed that the black hole was only spinning about half as fast as other smaller black holes, with much less mass that spin close to the speed of light. This discovery seems to contradict some black hole theories while supporting others. For starters, larger black holes are much less likely to be affected by the velocity changes that occur when black holes merge or their inner disks are interrupted, while smaller black holes might endure large changes in spin as they are wrenched back and forth. It's reasonable that larger black holes would have more stable speeds. However, this still does not explain the speed itself. The stability of larger black holes means that they are expected to be able to rapidly accumulate mass because of the gas disk that surrounds them. 
This matter will always enter from a direction that increases the speed over and over, until it reaches the speed of light. However, this large black hole does not appear to be following the rules, leaving researchers scratching their heads as they are forced to continue in the search for answers. But what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.